So it's a mystery, but you know it's really exciting to to uncover the, the mysteries to know that you can know. Just like okay, look at that picture right there uh, that uh, Shelley put up of the Mediterranean. You know, Mediterranean Sea, the sea in the middle of the land. What sea in the middle of the land? Yeah, you know, uh, look at the look at where the Atlantic Ocean comes in. You got this little two mile strip right there from uh, the, the African side of Morocco to the, uh, to the European side of Spain, and all of the ocean rushes in through that narrow little gate, okay? And you can tell by looking at Spain and Africa that at one time that were all bumped together. They were touching, and therefore the Atlantic Ocean couldn't come in. David Attenborough, uh, one of the foremost naturalists um, in our world uh, who did many documentaries, uh, did a presentation on the... Uh, Mediterranean and said that every hundred thousand years Africa and Europe come back together close and they uh, all of that ocean evaporates and because there's not enough rivers to keep it filled and it's a paradise there's the flood the sea the Mediterranean Sea Mediterranean Sea the sea in the middle of the terrain in the sea in the middle of the land okay in Spain and France there are caves that have pictures of African animals on the walls well how could that be because uh the 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 animals could go right up into europe you know even the woolly mammoths you know the woolly mammoths were up in uh you know up in the very northern parts of the continent you know elephants elephants okay with fur on them of course so the you know the 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 migration you know was there and um but there's there's 200 civilizations that are that are under the water of the mediterranean sea there are islands with cobblestone roads going right into the water how could that be you know um that there there are places right off the, the coast of turkey and and greece where, where it's illegal to go scuba diving because right under the water right 15 feet down 20 feet down there are, are are dwellings dwellings of people that that you know lived there prior to the flood that came in look at the mediterranean sea tell me that's not a bit a mega flood that's 4,000 miles from the Atlantic to the Levant 4,000 miles the the state of New Jersey appeared on the map when that basin filled up that's how much water came off of the oceans New Jersey came on the map I know because I grew up in New Jersey and there's only a foot of one or two feet of soil and then you've got sand and and seashells and fossils and then just saying uh, desert, uh, the water on top right looks like a reverse image of Oz with Taisy too. Okay. <laughs> I can't process that right now, but that's all right. Uh, so, so, you know, it's in front of us. They put everything in front of us and we can't even see it, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, the, the, the Black Sea became twice as big when the flood occurred. Because the water f flowed right over uh, that area there in Turkey, right over into the Black Sea, and it, and it became twice as big. Tasmania, okay, okay. So, uh, so you know the mythologies there. You know they they call the, uh, the 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 place where the Atlantic Ocean comes in and the Strait, right there, the Strait of Gibraltar. They call it the Bars of Hercules because they they wanted everybody to remember. That this is where the 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 continents were pushed apart, and that the Atlantic Ocean rushed in, and uh, then what do they call it? Right off of the cliffs, right there uh, in Spain, they call it the burying places of the burying place of the gods, the burying place of the gods. Okay, so um, so there's a uh, a way you can you can you can um, get the picture by looking at all of the mythology, all of the history, all of the uh, archaeological evidence, the geology, all of these things, you know. Even Africa, the Sahara, was underwater at one time, you know. And a, it was a, a shallow sea. And, they, and they, they go out into the desert there in the Sahara, and they show all of the, the sea, sea life that used to be there on the desert sands, you know. So... Uh, yeah, old maps are very different. Thank you, uh, Jet. And uh, even America was called uh, uh, New India. Okay, I've got a picture of a map uh, called. It was called New India, 
And of course, they, and that's why they call the, the native people here Indians. Okay, Indians, whoa. Indians, I thought Indians were in India, you know, but no, they were made, they were the first slaves. They enslaved them all, British East India Trading Company, made laid claim on them, the, you primitives. And, um, and then, uh, you know, then they decide, well, wait, no, we'll switch it out again. We'll call it uh, America. We'll tell everybody it, uh, it was because of, of medical Vespucci. We'll just tell everybody that he, he, he discovered America when really America comes from the, uh, you know, the, the uh, uh, Soltec god Quetzalcoatl and also uh, Americu. Americu means a feathered serpent. That's what uh, it means. And it's therefore synonymous with the phoenix, you know. So a metal coup, the feathered serpent, uh, the phoenix rising, that was the 500-year uh, plan of, uh, of the uh, One World Order for America, uh, that, all designed uh, by the, the would-be king of England, uh, Francis Bacon, who uh, was therefore the chief architect of, uh, the, of the, the One World Order of the day, of the, of the New Atlantis, a metal coup, okay? So uh, yeah, the occult run our world. It's an occultic world. They're... Uh, you know, they've enslaved us all. Uh, nothing is as it seems. Um, the, the, uh, the truth uh, is buried and the lies prevail. You know, Columbus didn't discover America. Why was he called Columbus? It's in the name of their goddess, Columbia. Okay, Columbia. And um, that's why, you know, it's, British, it's uh, Washington, D.C. is called Columbia, D District of Columbia. Whoa, District of Columbia, then it's a foreign state foreign state yeah it's a it's a holding state they're holding a bunch of slaves in their capital you know so uh all right well you know i, I um want to thank you for tuning in tonight and joining us here on the forbidden history live and um any what any new listeners want to welcome you again you're tuned in to forbidden history live i'm desert owl your host and